event, a historic moment, and with all of the elaborate ceremony surrounding it, we may never see anything quite like it again. For many, certainly the hundreds of thousands who descended upon London, who waited for hours and hours in the queue to pay their respects, who were moved to tears, it was a fitting tribute to a remarkable life. She's done such an impeccable reign. She meant a lot to the whole country. Those sentiments are the national mood, says this professor. Most people would say it was worth it because of who she was and what she did. It was also worth it because the world's eyes were upon Britain. But there have also been questions about how much it all costs the British taxpayer, especially with the UK facing a deepening cost of living crisis. There's no answer to that question yet, but history... Total expenditure of Queen Elizabeth II's National Memorial Service and ensued concert published by the Treasury. The Queen passed at Balmoral Castle on September 8, aged 96, after 70 years on the royal throne. The National Memorial Service for Queen Elizabeth II was organized at Westminster Abbey on Monday 19 September 2022. Global heads and royals flogged into London to pay homage a segment of an unprecedented funeral in the annals of contemporary history. Masses of individuals across the world fine-tuned into view while thousands packed on the roads of London to grasp one latter peak of the Queen's casket. Almost eight months after the final funeral rites of the late Queen, the Treasury has disclosed that Monarch's state funeral and her lying in state amounted and costed the taxpayer £162 million. In a documented ministerial declaration, Chief Secretary to the Treasury John Glenn defined her demise and the era of nationwide lamentation as a moment of huge national significance, I quoted by John Glenn. He added and I quote, during this period, many hundreds of thousands of people came in person to pay their respects, at the lying at rest in Edinburgh, the lying in state in Westminster, as well as in London and Windsor for the state funeral on the 19th of September. Next month, and official statistics show that about half of British adults are buying less food because they can't afford it. All of this will be hanging over the planning for King Charles's coronation expected next year. The Queen's coronation back in 1953 cost $70 million in today's dollars. It was billed as a much-needed celebration after the end of the Second World War. The context for King Charles 70 years later is much different. Listen to what happened when he went to Wales before the funeral. While we struggle to heat our homes, we have to pay for your parade. One newspaper said Charles... Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.